There are some options within School City for rescoring assessments. And so I'm going to show those options to you and kind of walk you through how that would work. So click on the assessments and you'll see a list of your assessments. Remember that you can sort those by using these options up here. Once you find the assessment that you want, we're going back over here to this stuff at the right side and you'll see that once you've given the assessment, this uh, key opens up. We're going to mess with the key. We're going to rescore. So click on that. Now your options are kind of limited here. Um, for example, it will not rescore a XCR, explicit constructed response. It won't allow you to just change the answer and say, oh, this one's right too. But what it will do is allow you to change the grading on that. So I'll walk you through each one of the options. So here you've got the constructed response question and you could change the rubric multiplier. So if you don't want it to count, you just change that to zero. And now if you've given a question that you felt is unfair or that you don't want to count on the grade, now it's not going to count. The automatically graded questions are different. You can just change the answer. I'm going to say this is C from now on. And then um, same thing down here, XCR. You see you could change how many points. I'm going to make this worth zero points because I, I don't think my answer was fair. And then when I click save, it's going to give me, it's going to explain what I just did. I marked two items, don't score. And then I rekeyed another one. But then there's a warning, and this warning is really important. It does not update the item from the item bank. It just rescores it on this one assessment. So let's say that's not good enough. I, I It's fine. I can deactivate the points, but I also want it to be right the next time I give the test. So this is the one time that you can click straight on the question. So when you click on it, it gives you the answer. This is a stupid question. Um, it gives you the answer and it shows you the answers it'll take. But I said this should work too, so that's not, I need my answer key to change. Well, really tiny up here in the right corner is edit the item. And it says, tells me what assessments it's used in. It'll edit them all the way across. And it gives me a few choices. I can create a new, a new item. If I decide that that one wasn't good enough, but I want to keep it, this is what I want. I suspect in most cases you'll choose to replace the item. Oh, my old answer wasn't sufficient. I need a new one. And then you also have the choice whether you want to keep the item statistics. If you hit no, it deletes all the statistics for that item like instantly. So usually you probably want to keep it. I don't, depends on how bad your question is, I suppose. So I'm going to keep my item statistics, but I'm going to replace it. Now here, it takes me back into the question. No, now I'm going to add my answers. I already did that. And then I'm going to save. You recognize this screen, right? And then I want to publish it. Now that will change it on the other tests that also use that same item. And so it can be thoroughly changed. And then to get back to where I was, I'll just click right there. So here I am back in that survey, back in that, uh, back in that test, doing what I was doing before. And that's how you do that.